All right, as normal, there's always something that stops you from doing something. Um, uh, I got up the ladder. You see the ladder's way up there, already up. I'm up there. That's 12 and a half feet up. And uh, when you're 12 and a half feet up, maybe it's just my older age. You're uh, kind of scared. I don't know, but I can. You're really holding on with almost no hands. I'm thinking, yeah, I can mark everything. I can't run a chainsaw, I can't run a skill saw safely. So what I've done was, as you remember before, I've got pallet forks right here, right here. I picked a pallet that had double, had four um, support deals. And actually, my largest, my largest post is at about 11 and a half to 12 inches. This measures between here and here at 13 and a half inches. So what I'm going to probably do is I'm going to go ahead and cut this out right here. Top and bottom. Cut it out. I have got this big plank that I'm going to lay on top. And I'll cut the center. You know, I'll cut out the center. So I have a place to step on. I think this is going to be fine. I know this is going to handle the weight. So I think if I can just lay that on there, I will screw it to it all the way through. I'll be able to use that for the rest of the time I'm building up there too. Uh, my son will be up and uh, whenever I get going welding and this will give him a nice flat platform to be able to walk around, be secure. But I'll cut them out, cut that out. I think that's going to be a way to yeah, go. It'd be safe. For the pallet on there, I got the board on there, and this is what I end up with. I'm going to cut a hole through the center, and now I can drive up to the telephone poles and um, park it. I can get on my ladder, get on top, walk around the, at wherever I need to walk, get my angles that I need to do so everything's right, and then get the chainsaw and cut out what I got to cut out. I feel a lot safer. Um, I've had it down low when I stepped up on it. It's not going nowhere. It's all doing good. Had a few inches longer right here, which is fine. I never step at the end, but on the edge, I pulled a pallet out. It has about the same distance from here to here on the back of the pallet, which is fine. It's not going to hurt nothing. Like I said, I'll never stand on the edge. The uh, I'm about two inches over. Yeah. Two inches where the pallet sits right here. I have got, you see, straight line. I've screwed straight on down into the, the pallet structure itself all the way across. Here's uh, 4, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 screws holding it down. All right. As you can see, I have gone around the post. I'm going to yeah. go ahead and go on up. All right. I am up here. And uh, here's the marks that I need to go by right here. That's your 12 foot. And I actually made a mistake. That's supposed to be 6 inches right there. There, I have a 6 inch channel. If I had 8. So, oh, maybe I already made, let me see here. One, I did, I made it. That's right, that's right. So anyway, there we are. There's your 12 foot mark, here's your eight, but I need to take it to the other side. I, you can see how I was trying to, this thing sticking on the side here. You can see how I was marking, trying to do this the right way and with levels and I just can never get right. Never get what I was really trying to do. How am I, how am I gonna carry it over here? But now that I have this where I can walk around, other than this thing becoming a big pain in my, you know what? Um, that may have to just come off completely anyway. It's just going to get in the way. I'll just take it off right there when I get the chainsaw up here. It's good. Anyway, but you get you everything over here too. <laughs> Here's the roof. There's the house. Good view of uh, Miss America there. I love that. 
flags were uh, flags the chickens were all right down in that area right there a minute ago they were all standing and wondering what I was going to do okay I got sawdust all over me most likely and um, I was able to cut this I had my hand, my chisel and hammer. I'm not done chiseling the hammer yet, but the sun's blinding me when I look that direction, so I'll get into it tomorrow. But here's the delay flat in there, and I bolt it to here. It's going to extend over over this direction to the toward me more by about three feet. So I have like a three feet overhang, and then a truss goes here. And then once we get everything bolted in, I get it all raised, and then I will go ahead and take this and probably cut it at an angle. Just enough so water will shed off the top of these and then knock the top of this off. So that's a good uh, one, two, three, four, five, about five, five foot off this post. I'll move down to the next one and then I'll move down to the next one. Keep going. And I'll run straight laser. I'll take this right here, put my laser on here, and I'll shoot that right there. And I'll go on over and I'll mark it. And uh, But I, I will do what I've been doing. Like I said, bottom of each post I've got a nail I'll pull it up 12 foot mark it which I did right here here's 12 foot marked it then I went around the pole and that's where I'm at there and then I'll do the same thing there there all the way around but I also use the laser to make sure I am make sure I'm, I am level so when I sit the uh, the steel in there it'll be straight across level all the way through all right I got the other uh, the other two notched you can see that one's notched right there. I've got that one over there is notched. Let me get over here. I've got that one notched. And I got that other one notched that's up right there. And I just checked the poles. They're pretty much all in alignment. This one right here may be to the north maybe an inch up top this post is not straight and kind of does one of those to it you know let's uh, see where's a notch okay right in about this area it starts to turn back that way the post what I showed was drastic but that's kind of what it's doing we'll make it work it's real close this thing's working really good works real good allows me to step right on top work around in there and uh, getting all done right so I guess now what I'm going to do is go ahead and go grab the, the uh, steel pipe, the um, I, uh, uh, C channel. It's on the side. Dig some out. I need to come up with uh, 40 feet total on that side. 40 feet for both sides. 